Hello and welcome back to the Rain Cloud server. Here it is I, Night Fan. If you are looking a bit odd place, well, this is my night house that I have built off screen. Uh, let's go downstairs. So yeah, my basic house on the edge of this island. This is west side, I think. Yeah, west side. So I placed some grass and made some purplish orange house here, as you can see, night house. The skelly farmer that I made is right there, and it is now working. I added the sorting system and that stuff. What else? Well, I got new nether pick, FNC4 and Fortune 3. I kind of failed with this pick because I upgraded it maybe a bit too early. Because I don't think I can combine any more diamond picks to it. Because, of course, it would be nice to have like FNC 5 and Unbreaking 3 with it. So I guess I need to get those en enchantments from books. And that's going to be a problem because I don't have any villagers that I can use. Actually... I haven't actually even tested if it's going to work that if I enchant diamond pick and if I can combine it with the uh, anvil. So let's go check that out. But yeah, my uh, yeah, let's go down here. The new storage house that someone is building. I don't remember who from top of my head but yeah today's plan is to start getting some basic farming and finding well show the area of my base that I'm going to make and uh, that's not how you make a pick let's see well this will be the perfect pick to have and moment of truth, yeah, you can't. Although I do have netherite ingot, but do I want the use? Well, I don't feel like these aren't that hard to get. So, let's go. And that's 17 and 13. And let's think about the name. And let's go with the Fortune Knight, because this is Silk Knight. So, FNC 5, Fortune 3 and Unbreaking 3. And that broke down. Hmm. I need to fix that up. There, fix it. So now a fresh anvil. As I was about to say that I had the other pick, which is my main use, and I actually have a mending book for it that I got. So I only had to get one for this one. Of course, there's some other stuff that I can do, like the axe. So I want to have Fortune and FNC5 on this axe. Fortune will be mainly on getting saplings from the leaves. This shovel, I think it's pretty much good to have. Maybe Silk Touch to it, I don't know. But Fortune is pretty much useless at the moment for it. But yeah, those are my tools. So about the new base area that I was talking about. Let's go to the nether first, where I have new portal made. Just a moment. And let me think. I think it was this way.
Yeah, I have golden helmet, which is still going to break. And there's golem in nether. Why there's golem in nether? Huh. That's pretty confusing. Because here in my portal there's nothing that could spawn it. Uh, let me think. I think I need to go east. If I remember right. Yeah. I see the igloo. And yeah, here, as you can see, there's stuff missing. I've been here. And there should be two villagers, villagers left here. That one of them I turned. Yes, they are here and safe. So yeah. I can use those for breeding when I want and I need to make this as a water shoot to go up because I don't know I don't no need to have them but what yeah here's my sign night wonderland so yeah I have nice plans on using this area and uh, yeah I'm yeah, I have few dogs that I got from here. But yeah, my plan on this area is to have my whole base and build some nice ice wall going around. There's actually ice spike biome about in that direction. This taiga area isn't that big, but I don't know if I'm even going to make like very big area. But my first like the building, I think I said it already, is to have some farming done. I though I have put in coordinates up on which will be the center. Let's see, 635 and 512 should be that one. Let me double check. 635.512. Yep, that seems to be the place. So here I'll be making a platforms for different kinds of farming. Well, wheat won't be one because that can't be automated. There's ground somewhere by the sound of it. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. So yeah, I'll be gathering materials and start making this one. I think I might do several floors, I don't know, two or three at least. But at start there won't be any like automatic use because I need to breed the villagers. But the farm will be something that I can have automated. So eventually I can have constant flow of crops. So we'll see what I will get out of this my build. Yeah, we'll see. And here is my progress so far. As you can see, there's plenty of crops already growing. And so far, I've, this is only the one layer. So behind these slabs there are water sources, so this is our water lock that says on the right. And then there's the light sources and the compost station for the farmers. So the villagers will gather the crops scatter and the plan is that they come here and there will be like middle villager uh, sitting here and then there's minecart hoppers like standing in here that will pick them up so yeah 
uh, at first I thought I would be making maybe five of these stories, but there's actually like a bit over two stacks of crops growing here for like quadrants, and there's like four of these. So I might I actually do only two because of course I will be making a building around this which will be going quite high at least that's my plan but that will be for quite a late because I need to get a lot of resources to build it but yeah and yeah as you might see I have a hoe in my hand and netherite hoe to be fact and uh, it's FSC 5 fortune 3 and unbreaking 3 and why I have fortune 3 is because it applies for the crops as you can see that gave me 3 7 let's break 5 so I got 18 at least I hope it works so 1 Two, three, four, five. Okay. It didn't work that well, actually, that <laughs> I was hoping. I really remember that it should give more. Okay, there was eight, three, four, five. Okay, 28. That's more like it. See, so yeah, the fortune applies for the crops but of course I will be automating this so it won't matter later on because the villager will gather everything on constant flow but yeah but for now if I want to do manual harvesting I can get lots of crops when this grow up eventually so yeah I but I break 15 crops and I already have almost stack full of crops like carrots. So yeah, this is really powerful. Yeah. yeah, and about the villagers, I need to get them out of there at some point. Let's throw some items out. So yeah, I brought myself some soul sand that I can bring them up. So I need to break all of these eventually. I think I was here already. Actually, I already forgot, but yeah, my villagers. Mm, let's take those walls out. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a bit of my own green stand. But I need some blaze rods or blaze powder to make anything. But yeah, those I will getting and I have to start my own villager breeding. Most likely on next episode. But yeah, because but I don't still think that I'll be starting on making the automation there just yet because I will be needing lots of iron. So that might also be a project for the next episode. Get some basic iron farming going. But I need to figure out where I want to put the breeder and the iron farm so yeah maybe that's around this or I don't know maybe I want to build second floor over there as you can see I made the second floor and I've tested how good this farm is by using my fortune 3 hoe uh, so yeah, so I let you guess on how much crops I got from that. So fortune 3 crop and there's two platform with each with four quadrants. And each quadrant had about two stacks of crops growing. So let's guess how many crops I got. I'll give you a few seconds or you can pause the video and write a comment if you want. And the result is this. 
So one full row of carrots, uh, almost full, 28. So this is eight and a half stacks. Potatoes are a bit over 10 and a half stacks. Well, this doesn't look that much because I have a double chest, which is already full. So yeah, so basically I got almost three, two and a, well, what, three chests full of props. Uh, let me just do a few adjustments. I actually have some here that I need to get out. So I have their own separate chest going on. So all potatoes goes there and all the carrots. So yeah, this is my... Oh, that's going to bug me a lot. Oh uh, well, I do it other time. So yeah, three chests, f or almost three chests full of crops gotten from that my new farm. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the on who people made this. Let me do <laughs> try to find it while looking up. So the idea I originally got from Impulse when he built Impulse SV. SV when he built it on Hermitcraft, so that gave me the idea. Uh, when I was looking, this specific design is from a guy called Masvero, who made this exact design and the platform. And what else? I tried looking. It was logical geek, if I remember right, who had similar idea. But he had like fully diamond, so instead like having, well let's see, like yeah, instead having this more like this V shape, he had like full diamond, but he had only like one doing and going, so the mass bro had connected like four its together. So yeah, I'm going to build some stuff here that hopefully going to work but that's going to be some other time but yeah that's my crop farm for now and when i get to the villager trading i don't think i'm going to have lots of problems on getting stuff going or like trades getting and even though and hopefully when i get one diamond crates that's going to be real crazy stuff going but yeah but thank you for joining me today i was night fan and remember night awaits you <laughs>